Well, I just kind of messed up in like three different ways real fast. Um, hello, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Mav. My name is Maverick. For those of you that don't know, uh, sometimes I camp in my truck, sometimes I live in my truck. Tonight is one of those nights. I just drove up to my college town and I really wanted to catch the sunset, but I forgot that this spot is facing, it's on the North Shore, so it's facing the north, and you don't get the sunset here, you get the sunrise. I used to watch the sunrise here. I don't know why I thought it was sunset. And then I got here and it's closed. And it's about a four mile hike up a bunch of ice and steep hill and I've got 10 minutes left until the sunset, so I don't think I'm gonna make that. There we go. There's the sunset. So right now my truck is an absolute mess not ready to be slept in at all. So tonight I'm gonna be staying in the city. I actually have a eye doctor's appointment in the morning, so I'm gonna try to find a spot that's close to there. I could sleep at a Walmart, but the only Walmart that I know of around town is uh, actually on the other side of town. It's about 20 minutes away from where I need to be in the morning, so I don't really wanna sleep there. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna take you guys along for the adventure of trying to find a spot to sleep tonight and my process of what I go through and how I pick a spot to, uh, to sleep in really populated areas. How I stay under the radar, if you will. So, um, I'm gonna cook up some dinner here. Because if I'm going stealth, I can't really be cooking dinner up in the middle of a parking lot. So, yeah. Step number one, get the truck clean. All right, well, I know it doesn't really look like much, but at least now it's organized chaos. I even found my boot dryer. So my boot dryer back here, my sleeping bag's way back there. I did forget a pillow, we'll make do. But for right now, I'm gonna cook up some dinner. And then we're gonna find a spot to sleep for the night. Oh no, I just poured so much more of that in there. <laughs> it's gonna be a spice. Oh, what was that? You gonna fall over, dude? Please don't. This tripod, dude, has been scaring the jeebus out of me today. All right, that's it. These are coming off. So I'm gonna finish this up, get back in the truck, head into town, and try to figure out where the heck I'm gonna sleep tonight. <laughs> How stuff gets broken. All right, so one thing I almost completely forgot to do was to put up my privacy because, as you can see, you can see straight through these windows, which is not good. And this is just a step that I should do now rather than do it later because it's gonna be pretty obvious that I'm staying in here so people can see me putting these up. So these provide some insulation on the windows as well as gives me a form of privacy. I'm just gonna slap these up quick. So I'm also probably gonna lay out my sleeping bag and get my pillow ready, my makeshift pillow. So it's less stuff that I have to do when the tailgate is shut. 
All right, so I have these two pieces of Reflectix on either side that I actually cut to fit into these windows. All I did was just jam them into the trim there. And then this back one's on Velcro. Um, this one I'll set up after I get in my truck and pull the, the tailgate slash back windshield down and up. I got a zero degree sleeping bag to keep me warm tonight. Yeah, now we're all set up. Alright, so we've made it to the city. Right now I'm in downtown Minnesota Duluth. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, this is where I spent four years going to college. Um, from what I know of this area, at least for like parking wise, the parking garages here were pretty short. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit my truck in. We're gonna go check them out and see. Worst case scenario, I can park on the street. So the problem is, is there's a lot of regulations on streets. So I'm at risk for getting a ticket. I've gotten a ticket before, really not trying to get one tonight. It kind of sucks getting a $40 parking ticket for sleeping. Um, so we're gonna try to find a parking garage or a spot on the street that's not regulated. So. All right, so it looks like that parking garage isn't free. It's only eight bucks though. All of these signs on the street here have no parking between 3 a.m. and 6 a.m., so that's not really an option. Also, another paid lot, so looks like that one was $8 as well. It's a cheap stay for a, a night in the city. Hmm, that's really tempting. But I'd stick out like a sore thumb there. There's nobody else parked there. You guys think I got that? That is really, really close. Oh, this just looked like they could make it. Man, I don't know. I don't think this is gonna happen, guys. I'm too scared of hitting a bump or something and scraping my roof. This is not the place to go. Shoot. I found a parking garage that is free and I don't think I'm gonna fit. I could get past this and I could probably put my max tracks down, my little traction boards that I have up there, but it's just, my rod my rod case too is too too close to the roof. It's had eight foot clearance in there, That's there's no way. One, we're gonna look for one more parking garage and if that doesn't work, we're probably just gonna have to find a little parking lot. Oh, this might work, what is going on here? Got a bunch of white cars here, might blend right in. Employees only. Visible ID required. That one has one. That one doesn't. All right, this looks like a good spot. All right, let's make this quick. All right, so with the light off, I'm gonna put this other piece of reflectix up here. And then we can turn the light on. And there's a little bit of light leakage in there. It's not perfect. If somebody really wanted to peer in here, they could. I mean, there's two side windows there, and um, there's obviously some light gaps in that. Um, I really need to make some, some curtains for this thing for this type of camping, but we're here. We're in an employees-only lot, so... I don't I don't really know what to expect. It's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see if we can make it all night. Um I really don't think I'll have a problem though. I checked some of the cars around here and it says that there's supposed to be a visible decal, but I don't see any decals, so hopefully, fingers crossed, we're gonna be alright. Okay, so I'm gonna get my boots off quick. 
and get settled into bed here. Only the real ones know what this is for. All right, so I'm about to head to sleep. Uh, I'm gonna watch some Netflix before I go to bed, but I think it's only supposed to get down to about 30 degrees tonight. I have a zero degree bag to keep me warm. Um, and I have my boot dryer plugged in behind the camera here and that should actually add a little bit of heat too. Ventilation I got coming through. Got this window open here because I broke it. Um, don't really feel a need to open up any windows because I have that. And yeah, not really using any power, not really doing anything else special. I don't know, if you guys have any questions about this truck camper setup, feel free to leave a comment in the section below or check out my previous videos. I have a lot of videos explaining um, my storage situation and as well as, as well as a lot of videos from me traveling to the west coast this year. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, um, feel free to check out my other videos. But I'm going to shut the light off. I'm going to get some shut eye. Uh, I don't think I'll have any problems sleeping here tonight. So if I do, the camera's right next to me, but I really don't think there's going to be an issue. Um, yeah, hopefully see you in the morning. Hopefully see you bright and early in the morning, and uh, hopefully I can make it to my appointment in time. I've been known to snooze an alarm a couple times, so we need to get some rest now. Been spending, along with projections that it would bring the debt ceiling, excuse me, the deficit to 1.6 trillion. Oh. All right, it's like seven in the morning. I slept like a little baby. Oh my gosh. Right now there's a whole lot of action going on outside. Kind of forgot that this is the employee parking lot for a hospital. So, it being a work day, there's a lot of people coming to work right now, um, which is fine. That just means it's time for me to get up. It's not super cold out right now. It is 30 degrees. Stayed warm pretty much all night. Um, despite, I see my breath right now, surprisingly. But my inverter did die last night from my uh, from my boot dryer, I guess. I should have known that. In my experience, every time you plug something in that has to deal with electric heat into that battery, it doesn't, it doesn't do well. So I'm hoping I can find a solution to that before I get back on the road this summer. Yeah, let me get out of this thing. I mean, there's a lot of people coming in right now to work, so I don't think this exit's really gonna be stealth, but we're gonna try to time it right. First, I'm gonna shut this light off and get dressed. Well, I mean, get my boots on, I'm obviously already dressed, jeez. It feels so much nicer out today than <laughs> truck camping for the past four months. I don't know what's up. 30 degrees is awesome. So I tried to time out getting out of the truck right there perfectly. Um, a guy had just parked like, I don't know, less than a minute before I got out and I thought he'd already left his car, I thought I heard him leave. But <laughs> I walked by and I saw him sitting in there. So he looked a little too involved on his phone to, uh, to notice that I was, what the heck I was doing. So that's good. Um, so we can conclude that after a night of sleeping here, um, employee parking lots also work. Not necessarily ideal, but um, we didn't get towed. We didn't get our window knocked on. The only thing we had to deal with was people pulling into work at seven in the morning. So, so if you guys have any ideas of what you want to see next, what where I should camp next, um, please leave a comment in the section below. Um, if you guys want to get in contact with me in any way, you can find me on Instagram at Maverick Joes. But until next time, my name is Maverick, and you already know the drill. Just keep on trucking. Also, I have a bunch of these left, so if anybody wants one, I don't know, message me. Yeah, sure. Bye. Spice is really nice. It helps me uh, avoid lots of colds. You can never be too careful with Corona going around, you know?